This is a really cool drone. And here's my review. Check this out. All right, so here's the box that RC Moment sent me. Here's their name up here. Uh, these guys specialize in RC drones and uh, they actually sent me this box which contains the Ghoul RC T47 upgradable foldable drone with gravity sensing control. Now this box is extremely similar to a box I received from another company and I'm gonna guess that this is the same drone. Uh, the other company put their instructions in the box but look at this you have uh, two sets of instructions here one in a language I can read and the other one in a language that I cannot read. Let's just look really quickly inside and see what we get. So we get a nice little embossed Ghoul RC right on the case and the case is a very hard case. Excellent for traveling. Perfect. Looks like something you put your razor in, your shaving kit or whatnot. And if I open it up, let's see inside. Wow. Now I like the color of this one. The other one I received was white. This one is red and that is a stunning color red. Check this out. Let me bring that closer. Look at that. That is pretty fancy looking. So these drones, this looks pretty much identical to a drone that I had reviewed previously, except this is made by, or at least it's got a different marking by a different company, and it's even got a different brand name. So it looks very similar. So I'm gonna assume it works the same, but I'm gonna try out all the features, but here we go. I'm gonna run through this really quick. I'll flip it over and I'll show you underneath. That is the battery. You charge the battery. It comes with an adapter to charge it. Uh, the battery's pretty good. You get about seven minutes flight time. It's foldable, so you can unfold it. And you can crash this thing, trust me. I've crashed the previous one all over the place. It will not break. This thing is solid. Check out how these motors are made here. You see how they go? The motor is stuck in there and there's some sort of gearing system or something along here. But these motors are really powerful and they work quite well. So I know somebody's gonna ask, how much does this drone weigh with the battery? Well, the battery's in it. Let's put it on the scale and see. It weighs a total of 85 grams, extremely light. What else do you have in here? You have the spare prop. Very important, four props, plus you get a nice little Phillips screwdriver and you get your charging unit right here. So I love the fact that the controller is the same color as the drone. That is really cool. Now these uh, controllers here, one thing to note about them, you have an on-off switch right here and they are not rechargeable. You have to put two AAA batteries right in here. The really cool thing is look at the buttons on here. I'll just tell you how they work really quick. This button here, when you're flying, you push it, with your hand and you will control the speed faster slower faster slower and up here you also have a joystick and if you push it down click you take off push it again click your drone lands and when you're flying if you push it this way to the front the drone is going to go up in the sky super high until you let go and the same as if you want to bring it down lower you just pull it down and it comes down lower if you push it to the right well then your drone's just going to stand in the sky and spin around to the right same as if you push it to the left it's going to stand in the sky and spin around to the left now you have four buttons right here so this is your most important button this one here before you even fly you hold it down hold this horizontal and it calibrates the drone and then you have these other three buttons you have this one here which is a kill switch if you hit that your drone will fall like a rock to the ground everything will turn off that's an emergency switch this over here turns your lights on and off your indicator lights not sure why you'd want to turn them on and off and this here turns on your headless mode if you want to use headless mode now to fly forwards and backwards you just tilt it forward the drone flies forward tilt it backwards the drone will fly backwards tilt it to the right and the drone will fly to the right tilt it to the left and the drone will fly to the left. All right, so let's charge this up and let's go fly it. All right, we're all set to go. We have the Ghoul RC T47, no battery in it. This battery is all charged up. I love these modular batteries because if you have more than one, there's too easy. You just swap them in and swap them out. Put it in here, push it into place. And there we go, it's in. If I spin it around, hit the power button. Woohoo, we have power, we're all set. All right, it's looking a little wet out there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Ghoul RC T47 and I'm gonna fly it in the house around my tiny little house, whipping through hallways. Now I've seen a lot of people fly these on YouTube and these drones are flying all over the place. However, when I fly it, uh, it, it's extremely stable. This is a really stable drone and it's perfect for flying indoors. Now, a lot of people are gonna get this for Christmas and the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fly it indoors. So I'm gonna whip it through my house and you'll see how easy it is to fly. Here we go. One quick thing I should mention, you can either fly the drone with an app on your phone, or you can fly it with the controller without the app, or you can fly in a combination of both. So for this flight, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a combination of both because I wanna see how good the camera is inside the house in bright and dark areas. So I've got the drone on, 
it's sitting on the floor. I'll go to the app, which is Google RC. And there it is. And now I'll hit the connect button. And the camera should come alive. And there we go. That's my floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the record button right here so I can record the video. Hopefully that works. And then down there is the drone. We're going to fly it down the hall and around the house. This should be interesting because in my left hand I'm holding the video camera and in my right hand I have the controller, which I've already calibrated just by pushing this button here. If you hold it level, the light should flicker and there we go. So my drone is connected right now. So if I hit this button, the prop should start. Just push down. And now we're going to fly it down the hallway really fast and you'll see what the video looks like. Here we go. Lift it up, push this forward. Let's go up higher, bring it back. Get this straight. Okay, so let's bring it up in the air. Bring it back here. Bring it up to eyeball height. And now, let's go flying around the house. This is so awkward holding a camera in one hand and a drone in the other. But I have to fly down a hallway. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to zoom around. As I told you, you can fly this thing pretty in your house. So we're pretty much done. That is the flight of the bumblebee. Let's go back to my laundry room. And to hit to land it, I'll just bring it back here so I can land it. Whoop. Here, let's go forward. Land it here. All I do to land it is I'm going to press this button. And there we go. She's landed. And uh, that's my laundry. So, pretty cool drone. All right, and now some video of me flying this here Ghoul RC outdoors in the rain. Watch this. It's raining out here, so I better sum up quick. Well, this is an awesome drone. I highly recommend it. This T47 Ghoul RC. Check out the links below where you can buy it. If anybody has this uh, under their tree at Christmas time, they're going to have a blast. Uh, this little controller, which is uh, one hand at use, is a lot of fun. Um, one of the better drones, toy drones anyways, that I've flown in a long time, so I highly recommend it. I think there's even some discount codes in the link below, but you'll have to check it out yourself. All right, until the next video, take care.